just how powerful is NVIDIA's frame generation technology? And can the average gamer here at PAX tell the difference when it's on? Our friends at MSI wanted to help us put these questions to the test, and we want to bring you along for the ride. We're here at MSI's booth at PAX West, partnering with both MSI and NVIDIA to play a little game of Would You Rather. It's a fun, simple game where you ask strangers random questions like, would you rather defend yourself against a dozen duck-sized horses or one giant horse-sized duck? Or would you rather, you know, smell like a ham sandwich at random for 30 minutes a day or have a wet left sock? once a day. I don't, I don't know, That's a, these are hard questions. But instead of asking yourselves about ducks and ham sandwiches or bamboozling strangers in general, we wanted to know how gamers here at PAX would prefer to fight for their frame rates. And we have a very fun method of finding out. Okay, I, it's better to just show. I need, I need a volunteer. Sarah! Everybody, just so you guys Hi. know, I just happened to find snacks in here. Now here's the deal, Sarah. What I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna play you, have you play on two identical systems. Now there's one difference between the two, mm. and based on your gameplay experience, I'm gonna ask you a question at the very end, okay? All right. Okay, so here I have Cyberpunk 2077. Okay. They're both on NVIDIA systems. All right. And I'm here with MSI, and they've got all MSI parts. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna play and then we're gonna go play it on one, and then we're gonna play the exact same thing on the other. But they're the same game, okay. But they're the same game. Same game, same everything. Yes. There's just one thing different. There's one thing different. And I just need to ask you a question at the very end to figure out if one is better than the other. Okay. All How right. about it? All right, let's go. Now, I still don't have my driving lessons. I still don't, don't have, have I don't have my driving license. <laughs> so, ooh, ooh. So maybe you just get out Ugh. and kill those people. Oh my gosh, you're just cutting them up. I know, I'm gonna ninja, I'm gonna make some human sushi. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, that wait. poor guy. Let's get this big guy first. Okay, so you've got there a little go. bit of time on here. Now I'm gonna bring you over to this system. <laughs> now I'm gonna have you play here, mm. and let's see if you notice any difference. All right. Oh. Oh, what? It's a lot smoother. A lot smoother? Let's see if I can kill people faster. Okay, there you go, oh, you ninja there them. we go. Okay. okay, let's walk over here and I just, now mm. is the question. Would you rather game on option A or would you rather game on option B? Oh, easy, option B. Why? Because it was a lot smoother and even though I have a stick with this, I mean, I am wearing my glasses, but it's a bit foggy right now. I was still able to see that the pictures were a lot more clear and was a lot crispier. Just like there, were, there was, was obviously a, more frames. It was a much better frame. Yes. It was a much better gameplay experience. Exactly. So just to explain, what we had in option A is we had the exact same system with a 13600K and a 3060 Ti inside of an all MSI system. Mm -hmm. And then on the second system, we had a 13600K with a 4060 Ti. It's crazy because again, the difference in power between the two is actually, it's there, but it's not a ton. Yes. The special sauce was frame generation where you were getting 30 plus frames per second here, and you were getting 70 frames per second there. It was classic. Yeah. You immediately were like, oh. Yeah, oh. Which, But now, what we need to see if regular folks at PAX mm. are able to get to, would rather, play with or without frame generation. And they will not know, just like she didn't know. So let's find out what happens. Welcome, what is your name? Zach. Uh, my name is John. My name is Chaz, Alex. Uh, my name is Anna. My name is Cody. Wesley, and I'm from here. My name is Belen Herrera. My name is Greg, and I'm from Seattle. By the way, I'm digging the ears, those are pretty rad. Thank you. Maybe we should stretch a little bit though. My name is Dimitri, and I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. We're gonna have you play some Cyberpunk on one PC, okay. and then we're gonna have you play it on another PC, okay. and you're gonna say, would you rather play on PC A, or would you rather play on PC B? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready! Pop your headset on. Is this clean? I'm no, 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 it's not. <laughs> I've been licking it between every <laughs> single one. Okay, go ahead and start moving around. Maybe move up over on the steps, shooting some people. Oh, these people look nice, though. They do. Okay, maybe oh, wait, oh, oh, wait, oh, that guy's trying to fight me. Here. There's more people to kill up here. Maybe, oh, yeah. just kill them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. Do I kill anybody? Anybody. Just oh, boy. Mayhem, dude. Oh. Oh! All your friends are dead. Oh, oh, my, oh my goodness. Gosh. Got any particular objective here? Nah, just kill people. Oh! oh. 
good headshot. Okay, right, cool. Let's jump over to this one. Try have you try it here. Except this time. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, big, what? Big difference already. Let's see how this one feels. Well, I can already tell you this feels very smooth. It is buttery. Yeah. I mean, you can see a difference right off the bat. Alright. Oh my gosh. Alright. Well, I'm already noticing a difference. You are? It's way smoother. You're playing so much better already. Oh, already I can feel like already immediate visually it like oh, looks wow, so much okay. different. Okay. But, so do you feel like you got an idea of which you'd rather play on? Yeah, no, it was okay. night, night and day. Do you want to try the other one real quick or do you feel like you've got an opinion? Oh, I 100% have an opinion. Okay, so do you feel like you have an, an idea or do you want to try the other one again real quick? No, this one's definitely better. Oh. That felt, that did feel a lot smoother on oh, that yeah? second one. Okay, oh, yeah. so you feel like you noticed a difference between the two systems? I definitely did. Okay. Right, this one's way smoother by like a lot. Okay. Right. Time out. Okay, I need to cut in for a moment and, and break this down just a little bit more clearly. We have two systems that are nearly identical. Both have Core i5-13600Ks and all of the accoutrements MSI has to offer. We got Case, AIO, PSU, NVMe, you name it, it's in there. But there is one difference between the two systems. One system, System A, has an MSI NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti Ventus, and the second system has MSI's NVIDIA RTX 4060 Ti. Both systems are playing Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p with ray tracing and path tracing enabled. Because we're not monsters, we also have DLSS on and set to quality settings. Basically, we're talking about Cyberpunk wide open, bells and whistles, it is as awesome as it can get. Now you might be saying, wait, Roby, isn't the 4060 Ti better than the 3060 Ti? Well, you would be right. Newer GPU, newer technology, but the difference when it really comes down to brass tacks raw power isn't all that much. In fact, you can see right here two systems being benchmarked together side by side. On the left, you have the 3060 Ti running at 35 frames per second, and on the right, the 4060 Ti running at 44 frames per second. Both are running below 60 FPS, with a difference in performance between the two being about 22%. Noticeable for sure, but not as much with a technology unique to NVIDIA's 40 series of GPUs called frame generation. Now again, looking at the two running side by side, but this time we activated one additional setting on the 4060 Ti frame generation. When we do this, we see the performance jump up to around 75-ish frames per second. That's a difference of 52%, and that's just comparing the 4060 Ti to itself. When you compare that to the 3060 Ti, that's a jump of 72.72727272727272, aka repeating. I think you get the point, it's a pretty big leap. So how did the performance jump so high? Let's talk about how NVIDIA's DLSS3 frame generation technology actually works and what it's doing as we try to translate this data into the experience that our contestants just had. By leveraging the GPU's tensor cores, RTX 40 series GPUs can take the frames your GPU has already rendered and then generate frames in between those frames with the help of AI. It's almost like this. Let's say that someone was preparing you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which it's dinner time, which sounds really amazing right now. But instead of stopping with two slices, they took an extra slice of bread that was similar to the other two pieces, slathered it with the same PB&J, and then slapped it in the middle of the sandwich. What you end up with is one fat sandwich, or in the case of frame generation, frames between frames, creating a fuller experience with an overall higher frame rate. Now that is a super reductive explanation of an incredibly complex problem, but I do like problems that can be solved with sandwiches, don't you? By now, you've probably seen frame generation in action, either on my streams or in one of the many YouTube videos on the internet. But what we want to see here is not only do they, the people at PAX, see the difference, but they also feel the difference too. Because if it just looks smooth and it still plays choppy, then that wouldn't actually make for a better gameplay experience. It has to be both, and that's what we want to see. Now already people have seen and felt the difference, but let's pull them aside and ask, did DLSS frame generation give you a better experience? And let's do that back at PAX. Would you say with frame generation, you got a better gameplay experience on PCB versus PCA? Absolutely, it improved the play experience for sure. It's just a lot smoother gameplay experience. Like it was less jerky and kind of choppy. Like the first one was a little bit I don't know, the graphics weren't like super well defined. Can you feel uh, it or no? Yeah, I feel it. Oh, I can feel it. PCB definitely felt way smoother. 
and felt more fluid throughout the actions of them. It was a lot smoother. That's the first thing I noticed right away as soon as I started moving. What if I told you the only difference between the two systems was one option and a slight hardware change? One option. One option. You're kidding. No. Yeah, it's a world of a difference. It made a massive difference. You, yeah. So it felt smoother. You had a better gameplay experience because of brain generation. 100%. Clearly B. Clearly, Clearly B. Uh, it definitely felt like the uh, had higher frame rate. It was smooth. It was just so much clearer. Everything felt nicer and smoother. smoother. Yeah. Uh, right away, I could tell, like, for visually, um, even without my glasses, a lot of things, like, seem smoother. I think it's got to be a hard PCB right a there. A hard PCB? Yep. Like, you're confident in that? 100%. Okay. PCA was kind of like a slideshow, honestly. It was a lot of really choppy. PCB was like cutting right through butter. Does frame generation make your gameplay experience better? What would you say? Based on that experience, I think that it made it much better. Awesome. So there you have it, without fail, this experience wowed the crowds that participated with us. Every tester, when given the choice, chose the system with frame generation active without hesitation. The experiences were distinctly different right out of the gate, not just in how it looked, but also in how it played and felt. With over four hours of testing on the showroom floor at PAX, over 40 people, we didn't hear a single complaint from our participants about input lag or delay. We actually heard the opposite. I love how our participants describe the whole experience as smooth, fluid, clear, and crispy, essentially just better. And that's not solely a testament to how good the game looked, but how the game felt on the RTX 40 series GPUs with frame generation enabled. But don't just take our word for it, just like all of the participants in the video didn't either. Go try it for yourself, if you can. Don't listen to tech tubers like us. It's best to just have the experience, if you can, with games with frame generation. Once you experience it for yourself, I actually don't think you're gonna be disappointed. But that's enough of future me, let's go back to past me and close this video out. Now that we've seen and heard what DLSS 3 frame generation can do for Cyberpunk 2077, we can't wait for Phantom Liberty to drop on September 26th. Not only will we be able to experience these next adventure, we'll be able to do so with the power of frame generation and ray reconstruction. By the way, if we haven't mentioned it already, Ray Reconstruction will be available on the RTX 3060 Ti also. Yeah! We want to give a huge thank you to MSI and NVIDIA for sponsoring this video and providing us with the space to show off the power of frame generation. The best part about all this technology is that it's available right now on RTX 40 series GPUs. Not only has it been implemented in over 40 titles to date, some of the biggest titles releasing this fall are getting it also. Alan Wake 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Fortnite, and so much more. We hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. If you have an RTX 40 series GPU and you've tried it, or if there's a game that's coming out with frame generation that you are looking forward to playing, we want to know what you think in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, go ahead and slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you get a notification each and every time we post a video like this right here on Robitech. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode.